The hype for this movie is already there. And you clicked on this review for one thing only, but I promise you one thing. No spoilers. Deadpool and Wolverine stars Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman and is about Wolverine is recovering from his injuries when he crosses paths with the loudmouth Deadpool, but they must now team up to defeat a common enemy. From director Sean Levy, the man who brought you Night Museum Trilogy, Big Fat Liar, and the classic Cheaper by the Dozen, comes one of the biggest, most anticipated movies of the entire year, Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh my goodness, we're finally here. We're finally here. We only get one Marvel movie this year, and I'm happy to say it is this one, because Marvel has been in a stint, let's just be honest, their quality has just not been as good before Endgame. But hey, we had Guardians 3, we had No Way Home, I would put this right up there with them. Now, I would say Guardians 3 is better, but this one totally matches the, the energy of No Way Home and the surprises that you are been wanting in a Marvel movie. So, of course, like I said, no spoilers, but let's begin with the positives. Ryan Reynolds is back as Deadpool. It's been since 2018 since we've seen him as Deadpool. It's been a while, and he's now here, and he's in the MCU, and he's R-rated, and he is just... He's literally perfect as Deadpool. Like, I literally cannot imagine anyone else playing Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds is so good in this movie, and they keep the heart of Deadpool in this movie in a lot of scenes, but this movie is important because it's joining the MCU. But now, we have him back, which I believe is the 10th time Hugh Jackman is back as Wolverine, and let me say this, Logan was a perfect, perfect ending to his run as Wolverine and Logan. This variant of Wolverine respects Logan, gives you the respect of his past, but this is clearly, in my opinion, his second best performance as Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is damn good as Wolverine. He's a great actor, but he is so good in this movie. He has his F-bombs. He has his bloody moments. He has his big Wolverine moments, and my God, he's wearing the yellow suit. But in the core of all that, the deeper story of his character in this movie is so good. It's the heart of the movie, in my opinion. Like, Deadpool, his story is obviously saving his loved ones, his friends and families of his world being brought into the MCU, literally, in this movie. But with Wolverine and meeting him, his core development is so good in this movie. And when they team up, from that point onward, the movie never stops. Their chemistry is perfect. It's literally a buddy cop, road trip movie, however you want to say this movie, them together on screen, just it felt right, and it also looked good with the, the red and yellow, I can't lie, but man, they, they work together really well. They've been building up Hugh Jackman being in this trilogy at some point, ever since the first Deadpool, so for it to finally happen, and to be in the MCU just makes it even cooler, and obviously this movie has some bloody action scenes, it is R-rated, a lot of F-bombs, something I did not expect Marvel to really do, and show stuff that I was like, they are really going for the R rating. And you know what? I respect it. I'm like, give it to us, literally. It's Deadpool. It needs to be R rated. And they go for it in the best way possible. Is there a few times I'm like, did we need an F-bomb? Do we need that? No. But it's their first R rated movie that they're gonna like push the boundary. And they do that. And I respect the hell out of them, them doing that. The action scenes, very well filmed, really cool soundtrack. It really pops in this movie. There's really funny moments. There are some hilarious moments. Just poking fun of the MCU today, the past, and obviously, no spoilers, this stuff, this movie deals with cameos, surprises, and it's... It's awesome. I can't lie. It doesn't just feel like, hey, we're in a movie. No, each cameo, each surprise we get in this movie, my crowd lost it maybe 10 times this movie. I'm not even kidding you. 10 times, at least. Clapping, laughing, and when certain things are shown on screen, people are just losing their mind. And it, it, the energy of this movie is felt. Like, it feels like a big Marvel movie. When you look at, like, previous Marvel movies, they do a lot of, like, setting up for young Avengers characters for the future. This movie feels like it's affecting the MCU. Like, when this movie ends, I truly can say to you, this is going to change a lot for the future of the mutants and MCU in a good way. Now, leading into my negatives, I will say 
there are major times this movie where like the actual core story gets lost. And what I mean by that, I mean it feels kind of incoherent. Like the big moments, the big surprises, they're there. But the smaller, deeper moments are good, but it was never coherent. It was never like a perfect story was told in this movie. It feels like when the moments need to be happening, they needed to be happening. Because the inner story characters, which I really liked, never felt like they could really outshine moments. It, it just felt like a, a it felt like a roller coaster. The ups and downs, ups and downs. The whole roller coaster is really fun, but there's moments where it's the high point and the low point. And it can kind of mess with the pacing. The first, I would say, 20 minutes, right before like things start kicking in, right before Hugh Jackman shows up, the plot can feel like it's really treading and treading and just feel like, hey, we need to get here because we have a two hour and seven minute movie and we have a lot to do in this movie. And honestly, I can say it could feel overstuffed. It's just me though. I, I, I gotta say though, I had fun with the movie. I, I mean, it's so much fun. It's it's really entertaining, but I have to admit. And when it comes to our villain, I forget the actress who plays it. She's very good in the movie, but I feel like there is way more to her that we could have known that the movie didn't get more of. There was a lot of her character that needed to be more explained, in my opinion. There's a lot of showing, but when it's explained, I needed more of that. Because this movie goes deep into comic book lore that I was just like, what does this have to do with this? And then, obviously, the end of this movie, I'm not going to spoil a damn thing, but we need Secret Wars, and we need a lot of stuff connecting now, because this movie's like, hey, we're here, and we're here to change stuff. And I left the movie theater smiling. I had a ton of fun. Yes, I have an issues with the story and the coherent of, like, the story being told, but I still think just the fun of this movie, the big moments, the surprises, the action, the comedy, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman especially, I left this movie smiling, I had a great time, I am 100% seeing this again, and I truly think this is the best Marvel movie we have gone in a while. I'm gonna give Deadpool and Wolverine a B+. Plus. I think I did pretty good, you know? When I did my No Way Home review, I literally said, it's good, and then like, I couldn't do anything else. So hopefully this review, I got to elaborate a little bit more, but I feel like I did a good job not spoiling anything. It's just, it's, go see it, believe the hype, I'm excited for you, I can't wait to see it again. It, it's really, it's, it was cool to get a good Marvel movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody!